Welcome to belly dance for body sculpting, buns and thighs. Belly dance is an amazing way to tone your lower body while acquiring great dance skills. As we perform belly dance hip work, we constantly use our glutes to draw intricate trajectories with our hips and add sharp accents to our moves. This program consists of three 15-minute sessions. In each session, we'll do multiple repetitions of a single move and then put moves into simple belly dance combinations. Each session includes a two-minute choreographed dance made from the combinations we just practiced. In traditional exercise routines, we perform lunges and squats to tone the button thighs. Belly dance includes a lot of plies and level-changing moves, and I've included them in this program to maximize our lower body workout. We'll give you plenty of safety tips, but please keep in mind that to perform and enjoy any level change movement, you need to have healthy knees. So, to proceed with this program, you need to have a good basic fitness level and no knee injuries. We have fantastic on-screen aids in the Belly Dance for Body Sculpting series, such as, for instance, an on-screen progress bar that counts your repetitions. You'll need to be focused because we'll go through belly dance moves at a fast pace. And now our fitness consultant, Andy Troy, will talk about the use of gluteal muscles in belly dance. One of the best fitness activities for losing body fat is low-intensity, long-duration, rhythmic exercise. Dance, and in particular, belly dance-based exercise routines offer a great way to keep you interested and motivated to stick to your exercise plan. Dance-based fitness programs are functional. Dance steps help you acquire postural skills and learn the correct use of muscles in a standing position. This will translate into more flexibility and grace in all of your everyday movements. Pay special attention to traveling moves. When you lift your hip in isolation, your greatest effort will be in the contraction at the end of the movement. When you incorporate a hip lift into a travel step, the motion changes. You have to work harder to maintain stability, activating the core muscles of your hip complex. In belly dance, great hip work implies controlled, precise movement, plus the greatest possible range of motion that can be achieved within an isolated movement. You want your muscles to be strong and capable of sharp contraction. For instance, when you accent a hip lift, you want the accent to be sharp and on time. You also want your muscles to elongate effortlessly during the passive stage of the move to increase the range of motion. For example, preparing for a hip lift, you need to drop your hip first as low as you can so that the range of motion on the lift is as full as possible. The muscle strength and elongation improve your dance skills and promote the lean, well-toned silhouette you want. Let's take a look at the muscle groups we will focus on in this program. On the front of your thighs are your quadriceps, or quads. As a group, they work to extend or straighten your knee. In addition, the rectus femoris, one of the quads, is a prime mover in hip flexion. Walking or stair climbing makes use of these muscles. The muscle group on the back of your thighs is called your hamstrings. The primary function of these three muscles is to extend your hip and flex your knee. In addition, two of the hamstrings assist in internal rotation of both the hip and knee joints. In many people, their hamstrings become tight or shortened due to a sedentary lifestyle. This puts pressure on their lower back and can eventually result in pain or injury. Incorporating hamstring stretches into your warm-up and cool-down is highly recommended. The inner thigh muscles are adductors. They pull your legs toward the midline of your body. Your outer thigh muscles are abductors. They abduct or move your leg out to the side. Together, they work to stabilize your torso when you walk. The gluteus maximus is the largest and most superficial of the posterior hip muscles. It works along with your hamstrings to extend your leg backwards behind your torso and is also a prime mover in the external rotation of your hip. It's active when you climb the stairs or stand up from a sitting position. Developing this muscle can lead to a more shapely posterior. The gluteus medius is a hip abductor. It lies under the gluteus maximus and contracts with every step, stabilizing your pelvis. The gluteus minimus lies under the gluteus medius. Together, they work to internally rotate your hip. As you take a step with your right foot, your right hip rotates outward and your left hip rotates inward. 